वेलकम बैक गाइस आई एम हेयर विद यू टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर 30 ऑफ सीएसआर नेट जून 2012 सो लेट अस फर्स्टली रीड दिस क्वेश्चन इट सेज i इज अ इंटरवल दैट इज अ क्लोज इंटरवल ऑफ 0 1 एंड x बिलोंग्स टू r देन दे आर डिफाइनिंग दिस फंक्शन phi x इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस ऑफ x comma i एंड दिस इज द दिस इज द डेफिनेशन फॉर डिस्टेंस राइट so what they are asking they are asking about the continuity and differentiability of this given function phi okay so let us firstly see what your phi function actually is so phi is a function from r to r okay because it is taking input and it's a distance okay you can also say r plus because it's positive distance is always positive but there is no, no need to do it so phi x is defined is equal to distance of x comma i x comma i where i is the interval right now you know what is distance distance is actually the infimum of this set right x minus y where y varies over capital i okay now in order to solve these type of question firstly what you should draw you should draw the graph okay firstly you should draw the graph for this given function so let us suppose this is my coordinate x is okay okay now see where is your 0 1 interval so your 0 1 interval is let us suppose say this is point uh, let us say this is point 1 and this is 0 so this is this interval is your 0 1 interval right now what is phi x? Phi x is the infimum of distance between x and y, where y belongs to i, right? So y is somewhere here in this region, y is somewhere here in this region. Now suppose if you choose a point x that is less than 0, that means it's here somewhere here, okay? It's somewhere here. So if it is, if you are choosing a point which is on the negative x axis, then what will be the infimum of that distance? What I'm saying that if you will choose a point somewhere here, right? So you need to find out the infimum of x. Okay, suppose, sorry, sorry, this is x. Now, what is phi x? Phi x is actually infimum. So infimum of x minus y, where y varies over this interval. So unless you choose y to be 0, you will, you will not get infimum because this is the shortest distance from x to y. You are getting my point or not? This one okay i am i will choose y to be zero what i am doing we have to find the infimum for this set so you have to find out x minus y now y varies okay y varies in this interval zero to one so what what is the greatest distance from this interval the greatest distance or the uh, or the highest distance will be this one and the lowest distance will be this one therefore this one will be the infimum right you are getting my point so infimum will be attained at zero if if x is lying here okay so your phi x will actually be given by if x is less than equal to zero then your distance will be calculated from zero itself you are getting my point or not this will be your infimum just think over it that this will be infimum because your y is varying over this interval if you will choose any y other than zero then you will not get your infimum quantity okay now suppose your x is greater than equal to 1 that means it lies somewhere here so in order to get the infimum distance you have to find out the distance of this point x from 1 okay so 1 minus x sorry not 1 minus x you will get x minus 1 here okay now if x belongs to your interval i okay then you will get 0 as your answer right so this function this is your given function phi x okay you can actually think over it that how i am writing this function okay then you will get uh, you, you will get all the information that why i am doing this okay so if you are not getting this now let us draw so phi x is minus x that means what is the line okay this one is y is equal to minus x line so i have drawn this part now on this part phi is completely zero so this one is completely zero on this thing now after this thing it is x minus 1 so if you draw x minus 1 you will get this line right 
you are getting my point so this is your given function phi okay so this one is phi x so let now let us uh, discard the options so it says phi x is differentiable on r but you see these are the two sharp point of your given function phi therefore they cannot be differentiable here so fourth one is incorrect okay now come back to the option one it says phi x is discontinuous somewhere on r but you see it's never discontinuous therefore first one is incorrect from the graph i am directly telling you you can use your test on this function but there is no need to use test because this question is asked in the exam therefore you have to do it uh, in uh, in the graphical method okay using the graphical method because there is no point to uh, use without those limit test right so first one is incorrect second says phi x is continuous but it is not continuously differentiable at zero so it says continuously differentiable at zero okay Continuously differentiable means what? Continuously differentiable means that if you will differentiate, then you will get a continuous function. Or okay, so okay, I I think there is a missing word here. So the missing word is this word exactly. Okay, so ah uh, sorry for that. So this option is actually phi x is continuous on R, but not continuously differentiable at x is equal to zero exactly. that means there is no other point other than this okay there is no other point where it is uh, not a differentiable you are getting my point but this is wrong why because there is also a one point there okay it is not differentiable at 0 but it is also not differentiable at 1 so therefore this exactly word will make this option incorrect now that for the for the next one it what it says it says phi x is continuous on r but not continuously differentiable exactly at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 so it says at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 therefore this option is correct you are getting my point or not so this one is right so the second option is wrong because it says that it is not continuously differentiable only at x is equal to 0 so this thing will make this statement a wrong statement okay so this is a very easy question how you should proceed with this question in your exam Firstly you should draw the graph okay by drawing the graph you will you will get a complete picture of this question okay otherwise you will use test here and that will take so much time okay by looking on the graph this question was asked because of this graph because the graph to draw the graph of this function is very easy that's why i am drawing the graph okay otherwise i can use test that find out the limit at this point then checking whether it is continuous or not but that will take time so this question will not take you more than 2 or 3 minute in the exam if you will be able to draw this graph and drawing this graph is not a big deal right so thank you guys